Hello Year 7. Today we are going to be doing another virtual experiment. Now a quick recap on what we have done so far. On electricity we have explored series and parallel circuits. You have investigated electrical measure of how much electricity is flowing around it and is measured in ampere using an ammeter. You have measured the difference which is commonly known as voltage. <clears throat> uh, and is measured using a meter that is wired in parallel in a circuit. Uh, we then took a break for a couple of lessons where we made ourselves an electronic circuit board and I've really enjoyed uh, looking at something that you have posted. Today what we are going to do is we are going to measure what's known as electrical resistance. Now resistance uh, is a measure of how easy electricity it is for electricity to flow uh, around uh, a circuit. Uh, it was discovered by uh, someone called George Ohm in 1827, and it's from him that we get the units that we measure um, electrical resistance in. They're measured in units called ohms. Now, you will notice that it's represented by this symbol. It's not represented by a square. For some reason on my little PowerPoint here, it, is, it won't uh, display the symbol that we use. So what you should see ooh, is, is that we, uh, we use the, the Greek letter omega as the units of ohms, okay? Uh, you will be pleased to know that there is a formula that we use to calculate um, uh, resistance. It's known as Ohm's law. Now, if we just, if I just take you to the next page. So my computer is going to be really slow while I'm recording what's on the screen. Here we go. This is Ohm's law. Ohm's law is usually written like this with voltage equals current times resistance. Now you will notice, the more eagle-eyed of you will notice, that for some reason we've got the letter I representing current. And some of you may be thinking, well, why don't we use a C? The reason why we don't use a C is because C is used for something else. Okay, so we represent current with the letter I. However, we are not going to be uh, calculating the voltage, we're going to measure the voltage, we're going to measure the current, and we are then going to calculate the resistance. So what we are going to need to do is we are going to need to rearrange that equation. And the way that we do that is like this, okay? Resistance equals the voltage or the potential difference divided by the current. OK, sometimes and this is something we'll pick up on when we go back to school, we can put it into uh, what's known as a magic triangle. OK, uh, and just a little reminder, the units of voltage or potential difference is volts. The units of current is amps or ampere and the units of resistance is ohms, which has that uh, symbol omega. OK. Now then, just like we've done before, what you are going to need to do is you're going to need to download from me, uh, from, uh, from Edmodo, uh, this worksheet. And on here, you will notice that you have got seven circuits for you to build. You're also going to up that um, uh, virtual lab that we've uh, used a, a couple of times before as well. And if we have a little look, at the first circuit. In the first circuit, I've got one cell, an ammeter, a bulb, and a voltmeter. So let's build my circuit. So here's my one cell. Let's add some wire, keeping it as nice and neat and tidy as possible. Okay, let's get my ammeter, pop that into the circuit. Let's add my have a wire here and let's have a bulb and some more wire and some more wire. I'm a little bit finicky about making my circuits as tidy as possible. Okay. 
Okay, that should light up. Good. Look, it tells me my current. My current is 0 0.9 ampere. Let's get my voltmeter. Let's drag that onto the circuit because if uh, if you remember, look, we've got our voltmeter in parallel to our bulb. And let's just add that one there and that one there. And there we go. I've got the voltage. So I know what the current is. I know what the voltage is. And I know, OK, that if I've got the voltage and I've got the current, I can then the resistance. And that's what I would like you to do, please. I would like you to work your way through these seven circuits, work out or measure, sorry, the, 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 the current each time, measure the voltage or the potential difference each time, and then calculate the electrical resistance. You can use a calculator if you wish, okay? I would like you then, please, to consider these three questions. So, what effect does the number of cells have on the resistance? Because if you uh, have a little look, you'll notice that circuits one, two, and three are all identical. It, all the only difference is that we are increasing the number of cells. What do you notice about the resistance of one bulb and two bulbs? Uh, and you will notice down here, look, that we've got differing number of bulbs. Can you predict the total resistance across two and three resistors? So you've made some resistor. Can you predict what the, uh, the resistance would be if we added a second resistor and a third resistor? As ever, post me what you find out. It'd be lovely to hear from you. I hope all that makes sense. Uh, if you want a little bit more information about electrical resistance, you can find it in Doddle. The reason I haven't posted that to you on Edmodo is that some people's computers have problems um, uh, running flash. So I thought it easier just to show you that little bit from the screen here. Anyway, hope you're all well and I'll see you again soon. Bye.